Hello, my friend. It is that time again. It is time for the fab, the fit, and the fun. Today, we are here to discuss the fab, fit, fun fall box. I love that alliteration, by the way. Y'all know how much I love partnering with FabFitFun, and the big reason why I've partnered with them for so many years is because they let me be myself. They let me genuinely and legit talk about how I feel about the products, and this season, my friend, I took it to the next level. We're not just going to talk about the things that I got in my box. We're going to talk about all of the choices that were presented to me as choices, which hopefully will be the same as your choices. And we're going to dig deep because the point of this video is to help you to pick out the products that you will enjoy the most, or if you've never tried Fab FabFitFun, to help you have the best experience with the subscription as possible. So if you are interested in all of that, hang tight. We're jumping into it right now. If you are not familiar with FabFitFun, it is a seasonal, meaning it comes four times a year, fashion, fitness, beauty, lifestyle, subscription, and one thing that's very consistent about the subscription is that there is a nice mix of brands that I'm discovering for the first time and also brands that I know and love. Brands like Murad and First Aid Beauty, Alex and Annie, uh, Euphoria, which, oh my goodness, wait till we talk about that one. I'm so excited to tell you about that. Uh, Glow Recipe, I mean, just so many different brands. There's a Timberland product that you can get, which brings me back. So it's just a discovery thing and it's fun. It's legit fun. And I really, really love this box. And I hope that you do too. Another thing I love about this box is that you get to choose depending on what you sign up for, whether you sign up for all four seasons, or if you just go box to box, you still, either way, you get to choose at least four things in your box, just like I did for my box. I chose as if I had an annual membership. So I got to choose all six items. But if you, even if you're just going box to box, you still get to choose four items. Items. And I think that really makes FabFitFun special because a lot of times when I used to get subscription boxes, like a ton of subscription boxes, I would end up with so many things that I didn't want, didn't need because I didn't have a choice. So this way you really are getting the best bang for your buck with it. Speaking of that, the fall box, depending on what you choose, has up to a $300 value. But of course, because this is a sponsor video, I do have a discount code for you. It is on the screen right now. That discount code will get you your first FabFitFun box for only $47.99. Some of the items you could get in your box are worth even more retail price than the $47.99. So I think that's why so many people keep coming back to FabFitFun over and over again because it is such a good deal. Enough gushing about the subscription as a whole. Uh, again, I just want to let you know these were the choices that I had for my box. Depending on when you sign up for the box or when you have your choices to choose what's in your box things may be a little bit different than what I'm showing you and it just depends on supply is what it comes down to. But hopefully this video gives you enough information on the products that are available to you to help you make the best choice ever. So without that being said, let's get into choice number one. Like I mentioned in the intro, the first four choices, everybody gets to choose. So let's talk about it. The first choice that I had was the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture Moisturizer. <laughs> Retail price on this is $79. So again, that value is going to be more than the cost of the entire box. And one thing I want to mention before I start talking about skincare ingredients is first, I'm not a skincare professional. I'm just an ingredient geek and I just love looking at this stuff and learning about it. And I've been educating myself on skincare ingredients for a very long time. So I've got a great bank of knowledge in skincare, but I am not a skincare professional. So the first thing I want to discuss with you is the difference between moisture and hydration. And when you have a product that says that it helps you moisturize, you are balancing your oil. When it says that it's helping you to hydrate, you are balancing your water. And of course, we all know that water and oil are different. So it's important if you have dry skin, you really want a moisturizer that has both moisturizing properties and hydrating properties. If you have oily skin, you may want to really focus on that hydration because that's going to help balance your skin and that is going to help your skin to know that it doesn't need to balance itself by producing 
too much oil. We're gonna talk about that in quite a few products in this video, so I wanted to mention that off the jump in this first product, it really is relevant too. So this is the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture Moisturizer. They advertise it as for all skin types. It focuses on hydration and reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And really, when you have a hydrating product, it can temporarily plump the skin and make the fine lines and wrinkles less noticeable, but it is a temporary plumping. As far as ingredients go for this product, it starts off with two emollients that help this product to just feel good and spread nicely. And then you get the humectants in there, including glycerin to pull that water into the skin. Beyond that, you have sunflower seed oil, which is one of my face favorite moisturizing ingredients. It is super fab. It also has great antioxidants in sunflower seed oil. There's also shea butter in here, which we know is great for moisturizing as well. Other notable ingredients include oat kernel extract, which is skin soothing, avocado and olive oil extract, which are additional antioxidants, retinol palmitate, which is a very mild retinol. It's typically one of the weakest forms of retinol, but if you are very sensitive to retinol, this may be one that would be good for you. The end game on this product for me is that it looks like it's going to be great for exactly what it's advertised to do, moisturizing and hydrating. I'm not really sure why this has such a high price point other than it has the Murad name. It's going to do what's advertised, but there aren't a lot of bells and whistles to go along with this product. But that's what's great about FabFitFun is you don't have to pay full price for it. You get it in the box. <laughs> this is a hair product. This is the Living Proof Triple Bond Complex. The advertisement for it says that it is a weekly no rinse treatment that makes hair eight times stronger against grooming breakage versus untreated, resistant to future damage and adds softness, smoothness, and shine. So what you do with this is after you shampoo and condition, you rinse all of that out, you put this in, you leave it for 10 minutes, and then you can style. You don't need to rinse it out. They say it doesn't require heat, but heat does help it to work better. Living Proof recommends that you use this product weekly. And I thought about getting this because I could probably really use this product, but I didn't get this. I chose something else. Next up, there is a blanket. This is the Little Corbus Woven Throw Blanket in the shades Taupe or Rust. They say it can be used outdoors or inside. It's ethically made with their global production team in India. It is 100% cotton and the dimensions are 60 inches by 50 inches. They say you should machine wash cold. You can use the gentle cycle, tumble dry low. You can also lightly steam iron it or dry clean it if you want to. I have so many throws and blankets. I didn't choose this either. I didn't choose the Murad either. <laughs> What I did choose is the next one. This is the Alice and Olivia duffel bag in Regal Romance or Positano Stripe. It's a $90 value for this. They say it's a duffel bag for weekends out of town in a durable canvas with a stace face zipper pull. And I was like, what the heck's a stace face zipper pull? Because I am not a fashion person. I don't know anything about zippers. Stacy's the name of the founder of the company. So the zipper on this baby has a little Stacy face on on it isn't it so cute let me show you it is so adorable so this is the one that i got this is the one in regal romance and you can see how large it is and i do have some travel coming up in the next couple weeks and i thought this would be fun to bring i also have future trips for like creators and friends and stuff like that so i'm excited to bring this for that it is huge it is really big and of course it does have the straps here so you can have it that way but then it also has a crossbody strap in here in case you want to use it that way which is probably honestly the way that i'll use it because chances are i'm going to make this too heavy to put just on one shoulder i'm going to want to do a crossbody on this baby there is a zipper inside and then you get the alice and olivia little piece of identification clothy thingy there and one thing I like about this is sometimes these bags have like a vinyl interior this one feels like a really nice soft cloth which I personally feel like it feels nicer than like a when you can go on the inside of the bag I don't mind it so much on the outside of the bag because it's durable but on the inside I like it to be nice and soft the dimensions on this are 16 by 11 it is 100% polyester on the outside and also 100% polyester on the inside and I think it's really cute I like I like it. I think it's adorable. Oh, I forgot to show you. There's also a zipper on this side, which I'm not the biggest fan of external zippers, but I don't hate it. It kind of blends in there. Let's talk about the rest of the choices for choice one, because we are not 
done with choice one. We also have the Our Place tinted wine glasses. There, you have the choice of either two-tone or solid. It's a set of two. They're a durable soda lime glass that they say is beautifully colored. I did look up soda lime glass and it is a very common, inexpensive glass. It is not a bougie glass by any means. They say it is a unique universal glass shape that suits all types of wine, which I think is pretty cool. Dimensions are three inches in diameter and eight inches tall. You are supposed to only hand wash these, which I think is very important. Uh, on their website, I also thought was really neat. They have a current collaboration with Selena Gomez that I thought was just very, very cute. You can see her cute little picture. I just love Selena Gomez. I think she's fabulous. I thought that was neat. She has a current collaboration with them. And that's it. That's it for choice one. So I chose the bag. Moving on to choice two, usually I leave it as a reveal at the end what I got, but I'm just gonna go through in the order that I've got them here. We have these citrine spice jars. It's a set of two. It's crafted with exposed reddish brown earthenware on the exterior and an off-white glaze on the interior. They're very, very pretty. Uh, it's meant to transition from the kitchen to the dinner table to keep salt and pepper within reach without sacrificing style. And the dimensions on this is they're three inches in diameter and 3.4 inches high. And then this brought me back. Do you remember Timberland boots back in the day? It was like a huge, huge thing. They're so expensive. And there were like, like I, there was like one kid at my school that had Timberland boots. So I, I have this like very positive memory of Timberland. I don't think I've bought anything from them recently though. Anyway, this is their Buffalo plaid scarf made with 100% soft acrylic with a tonal woven Timberland tree logo label. Uh, in order to care for this, it's machine wash cold and lay flat to dry. You're not supposed to bleach it. You're not supposed to dry clean it. And you're not supposed to iron it. This is the Alex and Annie Emerald Flex Cuff Bracelet. I have never seen anything like this. I found a video over on their website of them flexing it. That is so neat. And the purpose of that is to make sure it can get around your wrist and you don't have to worry about fighting it. Because I remember like I've gotten bracelets like that where you have to like Ugh, and you're almost like giving yourself bruises trying to get it on your arm. So this is really nice that you can make sure that it's very easy to get on and off. They say it's durable, a flexible design, and that it fits most wrists. It is a shiny gold finish. It is nickel free and is adorned with emerald crystals. I love this too. I didn't get it, but I love this too. This is the Reebok 2-in-1 Digital Jump Rope. My th okay, this is why I don't jump rope. I don't jump rope because I'm not skilled enough anymore. I used to be, but not anymore to actually jump over the rope. So if you are, you're gonna like this. If you are not skilled like me, you might also really like this. So there is an option to have a rope or you can do it ropeless where you just go like this and you jump and you go like this or you can cheat and just sit in your chair and just go, but what would be the point of that? <laughs> But as you're jumping, it keeps track of your jumps, how long you've been doing it, how many calories you've burned. It's just, it's just really cool. The handles have a textured grip and it is a traditional nine foot long cable. Next one is what I got, which is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Here it is. It's so pretty. I love Glow Recipe's packaging. It's so pretty. <laughs> Their focus on this product is hydration. They say it is a silky water gel texture. It's lightweight, it's oil-free. It diminishes the appearance of visible fine lines for a healthy, bouncy, youthful skin. That's because of what we were talking about earlier about the hydration and the temporary plumping of the skin. The advertised ingredients in here are juicy plum and five molecular weights of next-gen hyaluronic acid that fill each skin layer with hydration for visibly plumper skin. So what is actually in here? All of that is actually in here. The top is water and then the three different types of humectants followed by three different types of plum extract. So there's the burdekin plum, which I hope I'm saying correctly. The skincare benefit mostly noted in there is vitamin C that might help fight free radical damage. Then after that, we have the Illawarra plum, which is very high in antioxidants as well. Vitamin C is also an antioxidant. And then we have the more common ingredient, plum ingredient we see, which is the cockadoo plum. I've seen that more often than I've seen the other two. Two. High in both vitamin C and vitamin E, Glow Recipe claims that this plum has 100 times the vitamin C as an orange. And what they say you're supposed to do with this is just apply it before your moisturizer. You can use it AM or PM. You know what I love? is when skincare products, when the advertised stuff actually matches what's happening with the product. So I'm gonna show you that it is kind of a gel-like texture and the way that it blends into the skin, it is extremely lightweight. It seeps into the skin 
absolutely beautifully. It feels good on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy or greasy in any way at all. And when I used this after my shower today, it was the first time I used it after a shower. And a lot of times I really feel like if I use a serum, I have to use a moisturizer. This one, I honestly, I didn't use a moisturizer. I completely forgot to use it because my skin already felt so hydrated, which is very unusual. I don't think I've ever said that on this channel before, like ever even once. Because I always have to use a moisturizer after my serum, but my skin felt amazing. It does have a very light scent, but it is very mild. It definitely doesn't smell like plums. It doesn't have a fruity scent. It's just very mild, light, fresh scent, but it's, it's very like you can barely smell it. You have to try to smell it to smell it. So for me personally, I like to wear antioxidant rich products in the daytime underneath my sunscreen to help fight free radical damage. Of course, you can use this at night as well, uh, but I personally am going to be using this a lot during the day. I think this is gonna replace my current vitamin C serum to be honest, because I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm just gonna put my sunscreen on over top of it. But when it comes down to it, is this going to be a better vitamin C than any other vitamin C that you own? I have no idea. So where I'm kind of getting my judgment on this is the fact that it does have vitamin C in it, which is great, and that it feels really good on the skin. I just really enjoy the experience of this product. I like the way that it looks on my vanity. It's just a really nice product. And then the only other choice that we had for choice number four was the Fenty Beauty Easy is it easy? I think it's easy drop lit all over glow enhancer and you had the choice of any of their shades. So that's bronze jasper, honey citrine, taffy topaz, or pink pearl. So the, the purpose of this is to be a glow enhancer. You can use it on your bare skin to increase the glow of your skin. You can mix it into foundation to make your, your foundation look a little more luminous. You can top it over top of foundation to give your skin an extra boost of glow. They claim that it has skin loving ingredients to help hydrate, brighten, and reduce the look of pores. So of course, if a makeup product has skincare claims, I'm gonna look into it to see if that's legit or not. So this is what it comes down to. There's water in the top with humectants, again, to pull water into the skin, hydrate the skin, fantastic, love to see it. After that is dimethicone. And whenever I see dimethicone in a makeup product or a skincare product, usually those are products that will help makeup to last longer, will help your foundation to last longer. It adds an extra boost. It's what we see in primers. So that was really nice to see. And also that tells me it's probably going to mix really well with foundation because you don't want your foundation and your serum or your highlighter or your whatever you're using to make the foundation texture go different than what you're used to. This should blend in really, really nicely. There's also a bunch of active ingredients below the preservative, which is below the 1% mark. Things like prickly pear extract for hydration, pomegranate peel extract for brightening, and then milk thistle, which is supposed to help reduce the look of pores. Honestly, I feel like the biggest skincare benefit you're gonna get from this, if anything, is gonna be that hydration piece. Uh, it's definitely possible that you might get the other things as well, but if you're really looking to do like those other things, I would imagine that using a skincare product and then putting your makeup over top would probably be a better route than getting those things from this particular product. But if you're looking for hydration, you want a little hydration boost to mix into your foundation, this may be a good choice. And I've heard great things about it. I've heard people really love this formula. Choice number three. I heard this pronounced two different ways. I heard it pronounced Vegamore and Vegamore. I'm assuming it's Vegamore, like vegan. It is the GRO dry shampoo. It's the retail value of $36. They say it's plant-based phytoactives, revitalizing hair at the roots for thicker, fuller looking locks. They say it's in an easy to use propellant for even distribution, which I personally love. I don't like things spraying on anywhere in a clumpy way. So that's fantastic. They say it's a light lightweight formula that refreshes scalp and hair by absorbing excess oil, because that's what dry shampoo does, uh, perspiration and odors for a clean look and feel. It's formulated without talc or benzene. Better not have some benzene in it. Goodness gracious. Nobody should be formulating with benzene. It's a it's a carcinogen. <laughs> Let's not do that. But talc, no talc. Some people are very anti-talc, so, you know, doesn't have talc. And they say it is safe for everyday use. There has been, the, the reason why they're probably putting that in there is because there have been some dry shampoos that have been called 
out for having benzene contamination. Um, but I'm glad that they're checking. It seems like that what they're trying to say is they've checked for benzene contamination and there's no benzene contamination, but they should definitely not be formulating with benzene. Oh my gosh. Next up, we have some earrings that are absolutely adorable. They're the Love AJ Carmella Hoop Earrings in Silver. Retail price is $65. Uh, here is a picture of what the mini size looks like and what the mini size looks like on a model. These may be slightly bigger than these. Uh, I, I have a feeling they're slightly bigger than these, but I still wanted to show you the picture of what they look like. So the minis, which is the one that I found online, are 55 millimeter outside diameter. They're made of brass and plated silver. But again, I have a feeling that the ones that we're getting from Fun are just slightly larger than this. And they're very cute. They're very basic, but I think basic is good because they're, they're more easily matched with other things. And for me, I need basic. <laughs> I didn't get these because the next one is what I ended up getting, uh, but these are absolutely adorable. This is what I got. I got the Euphoria blush. I cannot tell you how many times I have added this to a cart and then not bought it because it's expensive. It's $36 and I just could not bring myself to spend $36 on a trendy blush that I was like, I don't, I am so thankful for this. This is such a great product. Let me tell you what Euphoria says about it. So it's a universally flattering blush that reacts to your skin's natural pH to instantly give you the perfect shade of natural flush. It is made with 20, they say, skin-friendly plant-based ingredients to act as a treatment for your cheeks. It's feather weight and it has a fast absorbing texture. It can be worn alone or on top of foundation. It says it visibly reduces the appearance of fine lines, which I'm not really sure about that one. That's the only thing I was kind of like, mm. but they also say that it is great great for all skin tones. Beyond that, you can mix it with your foundation or concealer to give it a little bit of a pink tone. So you can use that as a blush. You can use that as like an under eye brightener. You know, like pink tone powders and stuff are really popular under the eyes. So if you put a tiny bit of this in your concealer, it's supposed to do something very similar. For lips, I am wearing it on my lips today. They say you are not supposed to put it directly on the lips. And I'm imagining because they don't want the bacteria from your lips going on the applicator and then going back into the product, you're supposed to use a lip brush. What I chose to do today was put a glob of it on the back of my hand and then use my finger to apply it to my lips because I don't really like lip brushes. I don't know why. I just have a thing against lip brushes. You know, we have weird things that we have a thing against. For me, it's lip brushes. I don't know why. It's weird. But of course, again, because it says that it has skincare benefits, I had to look into it. It starts off in the beginning with some texture ingredients, which makes sense for a lip product. It just helps it with application. And then the third ingredient is a hoba seed oil, which is a nice skin balancing ingredient. It also could be moisturizing. And then there is a beautiful cocktail of common skincare oils, things like sunflower, almond, macadamia, and argan oils. Those are all very popular in skincare products. They're mostly moisturizing oils, um, but each one does have its own like unique skincare properties. And then there's some really fun little add-in ingredients in here like turmeric root extract, which is anti-inflammatory and an antimicrobial, which is great. It also might help regulate oil production. And there's a couple other things in here, but honestly, like my point is, is I was actually shocked that this had real legit skincare in it. <laughs> I was like, yay, that's actually very cool. And the using this today, I had so much freaking fun. Can you see it like on my cheeks? It looks so natural and pretty. I am wearing skin tint so I'm not wearing a very full coverage foundation and despite my sunscreen efforts my freckles are glowing right now but the blush looks so pretty over top of it and again that's what's what I'm wearing on my lips today let me just show you what's happening here I'm just gonna put it you know what I'm just gonna put it on my cheek so you can see like as soon as I put it on my cheek you can see it start changing See how bright it can get? So when I first put it on, it was a little intimidating because it was so bright. See how bright that is? But then I just kind of, you just kind of keep blending and patting it out and it does blend in really pretty. Now I have to do the other side to make it match. And I'm looking in a monitor that's backwards. So I'm doing everything backwards. But that is, that's really bright now. Good job, Jen, because it was perfect before. But yeah, but I just wanted to show you how it works. I'm gonna put a little on my nose just to make it look little like sunburny without actually damaging my skin. See, look how pretty. 
It's so freaking pretty. It feels a little oily on initial application, but I don't feel like it stays feeling oily. Now, the thing about the application on the lips I wanna mention is you wanna make sure you exfoliate before you end up putting this on the lips because I did not do that. And I, I was like little, you could just, it just showed all the things that I need to exfoliate. So exfoliate your lips before you use it. It is an oil, so it comes out more like a lip oil slash lip stain. And it's just so, so freaking pretty. I'm so thankful to have this. And I'm gonna have to hide this from my 15 year old Phoenix. I'm hiding this from them because I think they're gonna try to steal this from me because this would look super cute on them too. Speaking of that, I'm going to go take them to their friend's house. I'll be right back. 20 minutes later. All right, I'm back, okay. Other choices for this one are the Living Proof Wooden Boar Bristle Hairbrush. I know people that swear by boar bristle brushes as far as increasing shine in the hair, reducing breakage, stuff like that. And this one does say that it is smoothing and shine enhancing and that you're supposed to use it on either wet or dry hair, doesn't matter. There's also the Free People 1809 Collection Candle in Lodge. That's a $40 value. It is a glass amber vessel. They say that the scent is warm, spicy gourmand blend with layers of rich woods and sweet spices. In the top is Palo Santo and clove bud. In the heart is patchouli and the base is vanilla absolute and black pepper. It is an eight ounce candle. And then you also have the choice of the Fakai Super Strength Plus Protein Power Bond Mist. This is only for the US and Canada. It is a protein micro mist for damaged hair that cannot sustain traditional bonding treatments. They say it high hydrates, repairs, and strengthens hair. It makes hair, they say, two times stronger and 10 times smoother with a 450 degree heat protection. They say it's perfect for all hair types that have severe damage, broken keratin bonds, and experience physical breakage with never ending split ends. It is suitable for color and keratin treated hair. And then finally, the Silked Satin Travel Pillow Sleeve in the shade Four Leaf Clover, $29.50 there. One size will fit, they say, a standard queen or a king pillow. The point of these is they are supposed to be good for your skin and good for your hair. It prevent, They say it prevents bedhead, hair breakage, dry and frizzy hair. It's hypoallergenic, prevents skin creases, fine lines, and skin irritation. And they do recommend that you can use this for travel. But of course, you can always use it at home. You don't have to just use it for travel, but you can, yeah, that's, that's what they say. To care for this, you can wash it in cold water, dry it on low heat, and you can use a light iron on it. For choice number four, we start off with socks. I am not a socks person. I avoid socks at all costs. <laughs> I do not have socks on right now. Uh, these are the Pudas, Pudas. Over the knee socks, $25. They also call them sweater socks. These, it's very important to note, they will fit sizes six to 10 shoe. So very important. I know not everybody wears those sizes. They suggest you can layer them under boots, boots, style them with sheer tights, or simply wear them around the house for a cozy, cute look. You machine wash cold, you don't bleach them, and you tumble dry them on low. They're made of 98% polyester and 2% spandex. Now this next one I almost got for my 15-year-old Phoenix. I almost got this for them, but I got selfish and I wanted to get something for myself. But these things work great. These are the Bloom Buds 48 pack. They say that they are clinically proven to zap most zits in six hours. Phoenix freaking love these things. It's a very big thing with the teenagers. It's almost like a Band-Aid and you put it on your pimple and the ingredients in there kind of help the pinkle, pim pinkle. They help the pimple to shrink down faster. The brand says that they are powerful little patches that are made to suck up and draw out moisture, fluid, and impurities within the blemish, leaving you with calmer, clearer skin. They also work to protect the skin, prevent redness, scabbing, and scarring caused by acne. And they also say, which is my big issue, if you are prone to picking at your acne, this stops you from doing it because you've got something over top of it. To use these, you apply them on freshly washed, dry skin and wear them for four to six hours. When I buy these for Phoenix, I always look for salicylic acid as an ingredient in them. And they do say that these do have salicylic acid. Some of them, I feel like they're like kind of faking being pimple patches, like they look like them, but there really aren't good actives in there. And these do look like they've got great actives in them. I could not find the ingredient list to save my life, but they're advertising that the good ingredients are in these. Next up, we have an eye cream. This is the Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. They say it's firms, soothes, and brightens, hydrates, and helps to reduce the appearance of 
dark circles and puffiness you can use this in the morning and at night after cleansing and before your moisturizer they also say you can keep it in the fridge for extra depuffing power this is the big thing you need to know about this eye cream they say you are supposed to use it within six months once open because this is a 100 percent natural product very very important ingredients in this we have water and glycerin which is that humectant to pull the water into the skin followed by witch hazel water which is typically used as an astringent but there's also some antioxidants in witch hazel water witch hazel water isn't as strong as witch, witch hazel extract that's something distinction if you're used to using witch hazel, hazel extract and it's too strong for you witch hazel water is much more mild there's also coconut oil in here which could be moisturizing it's also good occlusive to lock in that water beyond that there's some rosehip oil in here which is a wonderful antioxidant tons of fruit and flower oils and stuff like that in here the reason why this is a no-go for me 100 percent is because of the preservative system because they recommend only using it for six months once it's open that is something that i i i flip around my products too much i am not product loyal <laughs> When it comes to skincare, I am constantly like I have five different skincare routines that I rotate, <laughs> you know, because like I use glycolic acid one day and then I'll use retinol another day. And, you know, I just kind of flip flop around and, you know, I use a honey moisturizer and then I use, you know, a very hydrating moisturizer. I don't know. It's just it's just the thing. So because I flip around so much, I don't usually go through a product in six months. So this was a definite no for me. Next up is a cleanser that I've heard nothing but good things about from First A Beauty, their Pure Skin Face Cleanser. This is the smaller one at five ounces. Five ounces is still a lot, but they do offer two bigger sizes than that. This is the smaller one. It is fragrance free. It's a gentle cleanser that's safe for sensitive skin and effectively, they say it effectively removes makeup, dirt, and impurities, leaving the skin soft and supple. Uh, ingredients in this top is water and then uh, sodium cocal isothionate, which is a very, very mild cleanser that foams up really nicely. Uh, it is a nice base for a gentle cleanser. Now, what concerns me about gentle cleansers is the claim of removal of makeup. But in the reviews that I've read for this product, they do say that it removes makeup. So I'm trusting the reviews on that one. Uh, but the ingredients, they, it looks really mild to be able to remove makeup. But reviews say that it's good. I've always had great experiences with First Aid Beauty products. They seem like a pretty reliable brand. So if I needed a new cleanser, I probably would have gotten this, but I got the next one instead. Because did I need another lip balm? No. But did I want another lip balm? Yes, I did. I got this. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla Beige. It is a silky 100% vegan lip balm. It hydrates and soothes while providing just a touch of sheer beige color, a hint of vanilla flavor. I strongly disagree on that. This to me does not smell like vanilla. It smells like chocolate. Straight up. I mean, I guess we could push it to maybe like a chocolate vanilla swirl, but this is not straight vanilla. It's sm There's no cocoa in here. It just, but it smells like chocolate. Oh my God. I'll put a nice big glob of it so you can see the color and then see how it blends in so you can see like the tint. It does have a very sheer tint. And on the lips, it really does blend in really nicely. So I feel like I can, even when I'm not wearing makeup, it doesn't look weird to have it on my lips. I feel like for me with wearing lip product without any other makeup, I feel like it kind of looks weird, but because it's so sheer, I can totally get away with it. And y'all know how much I love talking about lip balm ingredients. Uh, basic nitty gritty of this is it's got occlusive properties to hold in the hydration. It's got hydrating properties. It's got moisturizing properties. It's got all of the good things that I like in a lip balm and that's why this is the winner and it feels really good and phoenix is trying to steal this from me too but i don't think i'm gonna let them mm. it just feels really smooth not heavy at all on the lips and one thing i want to note too is the applicator is bent so that it fits really nicely on the lips so overall huge win it feels fabulous it tastes good yes this is a good one and then the last choice that we have for that was the KVD Beauty Tattoo Liner Vegan Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Trooper Black. This used to be my go-to eyeliner for many, many years. Uh, and then there were some differences in who was owning the company and who was affiliated with the company and all of that stuff. And then I had heard that people were buying this product and it was coming dried out. So I stopped recommending it because I didn't want people to buy it and then have it be dried out. So what I did was I went on Sephora's website 
website and looked at the most recent reviews and it doesn't look like people are having that problem anymore. That that It seems like that problem has been fixed. So if you did have that problem, hopefully that is over now because this is a freaking fantastic eyeliner. I bought one a couple of months ago and mine is absolutely fine. So this is actually purchased. See how fine pointed it is on the brush tip? This was the first brush tip eyeliner I ever used and it was like, dang, look at that. Woo! Like... Blackity black, 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 very easy to draw a wing. It's just the perfect eyeliner. Moving on to choice number five, we have the Cuccio Somatology Botanicals Hand and Body Wash in Sandalwood and Sage, and that's actually the one that I got. They say it is designed to provide a calming self-care ritual through the use of carefully chosen ingredients. But what irritates me about this to no end is I don't know what the ingredients are. Like, maybe, like, what? How am I supposed to read that, Cuccio? What is happening? I took pictures of it, tried to zoom it in. Their website doesn't have the ingredients. Like, I was like, dude, I'm sure if I emailed the company, I'd be able to easily get them. But it was too late in this process for me to be able to do that before I realized there was no way on this earth that I would be able to see these ingredients. I need a legit magnifying glass, which I don't own. <laughs> So I don't know what's in here. Uh, they do say that it has shea butter, oat amino acids work together to leave skin feeling moisturized. So shea butter would be moisturizing. The oat extract would be skin soothing. And it says, while an essential oil blend of sandalwood and sage oil helps reduce daily stress and worry. Uh, so I did use this for the first time as a body wash today. And it was very nice. It lathered beautifully. It smells good. It's not an overly like a girly scent. It's a very unisex scent. It's kind of like, it's very very woodsy is what I would describe it as but there's definitely a sweetness to it like almost like a like a berry kind of scent mixed with woods like if you are walking through like a forest and you come across a tree and the tree has some berries on it and you lean in you give it a sniff that's what it smells like to me it smells really nice but it's nice that it's not like super girly because not everybody likes girly scents like I do. And I feel like a lot of subscription boxes and there's a lot of offerings that are either fruity or they're like food. This one is a little bit different. And if you have mixed genders in your house, maybe they don't want something that smells fruity or girly. You know, this will be nice for anybody of any gender. I forgot to mention, so this one is choice five. So this is the first one that if you don't have the annual membership where it automatically renews, you don't get to choose this one. FabFitFun will choose it for you. If you have that annual membership, then you get to pick this one. So another thing that could be in this choice is the Darling Spring Salt and Pepper Shakers. They're crafted from durable ceramic stoneware. They're designed to enhance your seasoning experience while adding a touch of warmth with the captivating fall colors. Uh, they say it's a high quality ceramic stoneware ensuring durability and long lasting performance. And the way that you tell which one's salt and which one's pepper is by the holes on the top they're shaped like an s or shaped like a p if i liked body scrubs this would have been the winner this is the frank body cacao coffee scrub i love the advertisement for this love it so much chocolate as a fix for dry skin you're welcome my cacao coffee scrub is like a sweet kiss for even the driest skin made with antioxidant rich organic cacao extract to nourish and soften the skin it is vegan it is a natural scrub it uses coffee grinds and cold pressed oils to give your skin a healthy glow they do have a warning that it does contain nuts so very 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 important for people with nut allergies they say it is specifically made for dry skin i love the video for this i'm going to play it for you they say once your skin is wet you cover your body in the my cacao coffee scrub scrub in circular motions for a few minutes from top to toe focus on the areas that want extra attention by scrubbing them longer scars stretch marks breakouts or cellulite rinse and pat dry and then go eat some real cake <laughs> With continued regular use of the scrub, they say you'll see scars and breakouts fade away and you'll notice, notice fewer dry patches between scrubs. So I looked at the ingredients in this and besides the coffee powder, there's also salt, brown sugar, and walnut shell powder. So I personally, if my friend was using this, so my friend, I would not use this on the face just because of the walnut shell powder. It's why everyone was picking on St. Ives for the longest time because they had the walnut shell powder. The walnut shell powder gives 
uh, creates micro tears in the skin and that's just too harsh for the face. So if you have body acne, this would be the acne you would want to focus on. I personally would not put this on my face and I wouldn't recommend my friends do either. But as a body scrub, like for feet and elbows, oh my gosh, yes. All of the yes for that. There's also in here sweet almond oil, cocoa fruit powder, and cocoa extract. This looks like, this looks fabulous. Absolutely fab fabulous. I just wouldn't put it on my face. And then the last one is definitely something I know some of you are gonna love. The Lujo Bar Eucalyptus Shower Steamers. It's a four pack. And basically all you do, you take the little shower steamer, you put it in your shower, not directly where the water hits it because it'll go way too fast, but you can put it like in a little soap dish and then put it under the water a little bit and then put it back in the soap dish. Or you can put it where the water doesn't directly hit and it just gives you like a nice aromatherapy experience and eucalyptus is one of my favorite scents for the shower so very very nice there And then finally for choice number six, like choice number five, if you are an annual member, you get to choose. If you're not, then FabFitFun will choose for you. We have the Lifestyle & Co. Mood Perfume infused with hints of jasmine, cedarwood, amber, and saffron to create the perfect alchemy between elegance and sophistication is what they say. Then there is the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Palette. It is based on their Custom Enhancer Drops, but now they're in a pressed form. It includes three luminous shades to instantly illuminate your complexion. And then what I got, which is actually a re-up. I have gotten this in FabFitFun before. I used it up and now I have a new one and I cannot tell you how happy I am to have a new one of this. I think this ended up in a favorites and fails countdown if I am not incorrect. It is wonderful. Let me tell you about it. This is the Verb Ghost Prep Heat Protectant. It is a lightweight heat protectant formulated to prime moisturize and provide up to a 425 degree heat protection. It uses Moringa oil to infuse the hair shaft with essential nutrients that naturally smooth frizz and promote radiant shine for all hair types. Uh, my hair has definitely been more frizzy lately and I think part of it is just natural humidity in my area, but I think also it's because I ran out of this. Uh, this is fabulous for taming flyaways. So what I do with this is I wash my hair, obviously, wash, condition, uh, rinse, dry like air like towel dry or whatever and then I will put this in before I put in my root lift and then I dry my hair so this this is my heat protectant that I use that I count on and I also use it to help tame the flyaways and it is freaking fabulous and I'm so excited to have this back in my life when I took a shower today I forgot to use it and I feel like I can tell but I'm excited to break back into this there's two other choices in this. There is the Obey, I believe is what it's called, Waste Pack plus one month of free online classes. It's a fanny pack uh, to put your stuff in. And fanny packs are so trendy right now. If you did not know that, fanny packs are like the thing right now. I know like we used to make fun of them back a long time ago, but no, they're super trendy. And then you also get that one month of free use of the Obey app, which is an app for exercise. It says we're on a mission to positively transform your relationship with movement. Our workouts are designed to help you build healthier habits for life wherever you are on any device. So if you do end up signing up for this after your first free month, it's $25 monthly, or you can pay annually for $170. Discover thousands of workouts workouts designed to light you up no leaderboards no guilt trips just a great time which personally that sounds like me uh, there are 20 different class types like sculpt dance hit strength pilates and yoga and then they have uh, instructors that empower entertain and set your body on fire is what they say uh so yeah that is very interesting i didn't choose that because i wanted this but but it sounds really interesting and then finally the last choice was the necessary body lotion it is a daily lotion infused with facial oils rich in vitamin c and e omega fatty acids two percent niacinamide and peptides great ingredient deck on this for a body lotion they claim that it reverses dryness replenishes skin with daily nutrients and strengthens the skin so we do have water in the top followed by those humectants to pull the water into the skin and then of course moisturizers we've got jojoba oil for skin balancing niacinamide which is what they're talking about about strengthening the skin's barrier it could also help with acne on your body as well it also may help boost collagen production which is something that we think about on the face but not necessarily on the body all the time so it's it's nice to have that in here. But one thing to be aware of is there are citrus oils in here. So if you don't like citrus oil in your body products, this is something you're probably gonna wanna skip. All right, my friend, final verdict. Was this worth $48? Yes, 
Oh my gosh, I freaking loved this box. I love this box. Let's go through one by one. What do I think is worth it? I, I like this bag a lot. Did I need it? No. Would I have purchased it? No. Am I happy to have it? Yes, but it doesn't really add a lot. Honestly, that first choice was a little, like there was nothing that was exciting me that was making me go, yes, I really want that. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up choosing this because I don't have a bag like this except for one that's really old. It's like an old gym duffel bag and it's falling apart. So I wanted a nicer bag for travel. So I did get that, but if I was in a store, I probably would have picked a different one if that makes sense. The pattern isn't super me, but the striped pattern wasn't really me either. So again, thankful to have it, but didn't really add a whole lot to the value of the box for me. The Glow Recipe Plum Hyaluronic Acid Serum, yes, absolutely adds to the value of the box. I freaking love this stuff. I just love what it's doing to my skin and the way that it feels. This is a yes, 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 absolutely. And it's so pretty. It's just such a pretty little bottle. I love it. I'm so easily amused, I swear. The Euphoria Blush, absolutely adds. I've always wanted to try this. Ever since I saw it, I've wanted to try it and I'm so thankful that I did. I don't think I would have pulled the trigger on the $36, but getting it in FabFitFun, yes. So just these two products alone for me is worth the $48, just straight up, just these two. But along with that, we also have the lip balm that I absolutely love. It is super fab, makes me so happy. Do I think this is worth the retail price? Probably not. It's still really nice though, and I'm so thankful to have it. It definitely adds to the value of the box. Did I need this in my life? No. Again, I am so happy to have it. I really, really like it a lot. Would I have purchased this? No, I don't need it, but I'm gonna use it. It's gonna get used <laughs> either as a hand soap, body soap, it smells great, it works great, it's a good product. And dude, so happy to have this. I did still have a heat protectant cream that I was using, so I wasn't gonna buy one right now. But if I was gonna purchase one, this was gonna be the one that I was going to purchase. But thankfully now I don't have to because I got it in FabFitFun. So even if we're saying a retail value of $10 for each one of these, we've beaten the box, all right? We've got Glow Recipe, the Euphoria Blush, the Lip Balm, the Hand. Like this is, these are well worth over $10 a piece. Well, well worth for me. So I feel like I got one of my favorite boxes of the past few years in this box. I'm very excited. Can you tell? But at this point, I would love to know what you think down in the comment section down below in the collective brain of makeup awesomeness. This is your time to chime in. What do you think about the products that I picked? Would you pick something different? Have you tried things that were on that list that I haven't tried? Do you have more information to share? That's what the collective brain is all about. So we can work together in one giant brain to help each other not to buy crap. Please help us out down in the comment section down below. Low. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it helpful. I pour my heart and soul into these FabFitFun videos because I really want to help to give you so much information. So hopefully this, this did that for you. I hope so. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps to tell YouTube to share it with other people. But if you are not ready to go, if you're not done with this channel, that's awesome. YouTube is actually gonna recommend a couple videos for you right over here to watch. One I'm gonna pick out for you special down there. YouTube's gonna pick the top one based on your viewing history. But if you do need to go, no problem at all. Thank you so, so much for watching as long as you did. And mad love to you. I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye.